welcome back to my channel, you guys. I am Tish Marie. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. So today, um, as you can see by the title below, I feel like I always say that, as you can see by the title below, looking at Okay, but yeah, as you can see by the title below, today is going to be a cute little haul video of all of the things that I got during the Sephora sale. So, um, if you guys are makeup or skincare lovers like I am, then you probably already know that Sephora has their VIB sale usually twice a year, but I think this one is like the third or fourth time that they're having it this year. I'm pretty sure they're probably gonna have another one in November, so I don't know what Sephora is up to. They're probably just trying to get us to spend more money because they know that there's a recession coming and everybody's gonna be poor, but that's neither here nor there. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and get right into the things that I picked up during the Sephora sale. So stay tuned if you guys want to check it out. Okay, so I was trying to decide how I was going to split this video up because I got some things from like a couple of different categories. But I think that what I'm going to do is show you guys my favorite items that I picked up first because I want you guys to see my favorites first. I don't really think that it's fair. You have to watch all the way until the end of the video to find out what my favorite items are. Honestly, obviously, I really love all of these items or I wouldn't have bought them. But let's go ahead and get into my very first item, which is my favorite. And it is the infamous Jackie Ina Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palette. Now, I know you guys have probably seen this all over social media, all over Instagram, um, because that's just how good this palette is. I'm not even an eyeshadow wearer. I'm just wearing it today because I cannot stop playing in this palette. But like I said, yeah, I'm not an eyeshadow wearer. But when this palette first came out, um, I wasn't really interested in buying it until I saw all of the looks that everybody was creating. And then I'm like, oh my God, those are so pretty. Because what really drew me in was that the colors popped so well on brown skin girls and darker skin girls. And that's kind of hard to find nowadays when you're looking at colorful eyeshadow palettes. So this is what it looks like. Um, <clears throat> it has all of these different colors. You've got some browns, you've got pinks, you got purples, golds, metallics. Um, it's everything that anybody could ever want in a palette. Honestly, every color in the palette goes with any other color that's in the palette. Like it's just so good. You can create endless amounts of looks. And as you can see, I'm wearing it on my eyes today. So yeah, everything that's on my eyes right now is from this Jackie Ina Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. Um, the packaging is just so luxe and pretty and iridescent. It's just, and I've been watching Jackie for years, like since I started watching YouTube. Like who hasn't been watching Jackie? She's just, she's an icon. Like Jackie is iconic. So how could I not pick up the Anastasia Jackie Ina palette? And I'm so happy that I did. If you guys don't have it, I would recommend that you go and get it because that palette is fabulous. It's my favorite thing that I bought. If I bought nothing else, I was going to get that palette because it is just gorgeous. So, yeah. <clears throat> All right. The next thing that I'm going to show you guys is not quite as exciting as the palette, but exciting for me because this is my first um, NARS lipstick. And I got it in the color Tonka. And it's just like this pretty rosy brown shade. Um, what drew me into this color was it was brown girl friendly. Like, just like the last product. But it's so hard for me. It's been so hard for me to find a nude that I like that doesn't make me look like a corpse. Or that doesn't just wash me out, make me look ashy and just basically ugly. Um, I do have it on today with another product that I have here. But if you're looking for a really pretty nude, then I would definitely recommend Tonka by NARS. It is, it's amazing. It feels really comfortable on the lips. It is matte, but it's not drying. It honestly just feels like really silky on your lips. Like it feels, it feels great. 
So if you get a chance, if you're looking for a nude or if you even aren't looking for a nude, go check out the NARS lipsticks because they're really good. So the next lip product that we're going to get into that I'm wearing on top of that NARS lipstick is the um, Huda Beauty Lip Strobe and this is in the color Shameless. So um, my camera is not going to pick up how beautiful this is but it has all these different color shimmers. It has like pink, purple, green, um, like brown, and it has like a really pretty shift. So I'm wearing it on top of a lipstick, but you can also wear this by itself, or you could just wear it with the liner, and it's really pretty. It's very pigmented, um, so you can wear it on its own, but I really love this and it feels really comfortable. I don't usually go for like glitter lip glosses and I've never had a lip strobe before, but when I saw the Huda Beauty lip strobes, I had to get this one. Like they have so many pretty colors. I was just in the store swatching them and I was with my sister and I'm like, oh my God, look at this one. And she's like, okay, just pick one and keep it moving. So I went with Shameless. Um, the next thing that I picked up is this Bite Beauty. What is this? I can't even, it's so tiny. It's the matte cream lip crayon and it's in the color cognac. And it just looks like this. It's self sharpening. I think these are the ones, yeah, it has a little sharpener on the end. So it, you twist it to make it come up some more and then you can sharpen it with a little sharpener at the end. This was really comfortable and this is um, a clean product. All of the ingredients that they use in here, I believe were organic and clean and they had, they felt the need to say that they are edible. So like if you happen to eat it off of your lips, you won't get sick. Yeah, check out Bite Beauty. They have some really pretty colors and this one also feels really comfortable on the lips. Um, I think that's all that I have for lip products. Let's move along. Um, the next product that I have just launched, it is by Fenty Beauty and is the Brow MVP. Um, I just got mine in the shade Deep Black, I believe it is. It has a little brush on the end. If you haven't watched my review on this product, be sure to check that out because I did just recently post that. Or if I haven't already posted it, it will be posted right after this video because I'm recording them both in the same night. You know, I'm trying to get content together. But yeah, if you're looking for a brow pencil, pick this one up. This one's new. Um, yeah, that's that for that. And some other Fenty Beauty products that I picked up um, that just launched were the Match Sticks, the new Shimmer Sticks. So she launched five of these. I got four of them. And I'm gonna show you guys the colors that I got. So the first one that I got is Pink Lemonade. Looks like this. Um, I'm gonna quickly swatch them. So Pink Lemonade, you can't really see it on my camera. My camera is kind of crappy because I'm using my phone, but it is like a metallic pink color with a gold sheen to it. Um, I got Beach Bum. Beach Bum looks like this like a kind of like a palish pale orangey kind of color and that is beach bum right there I'm trying to quickly move through these um, I got Bordeaux Brat so this is what Bordeaux Brat looks like and I actually wore this one as a blush today and it is gorgeous so that's Bordeaux Brat so it looks really like bright and opaque right there, but it shears out and blends effortlessly. Like I blended it out with my finger and it was super easy. It didn't move my makeup around under it. And then I also got Cognac. Cognac is just this um, metallic-y brown. And that's Cognac right there. So Cognac, I would use as a blush, like a brown blush. This will be really pretty in the fall. I also tried it out on my eyelid and it's just like super easy to just pop a little wash of color with on your eyelid with that. I would probably use pink lemonade now that I'm thinking about it as like an inner corner highlight. I think that would be really pretty. Um, I got more Fenty Beauty. 
Are you surprised? Like, I love Fenty Beauty. So, obviously, I got a couple of her products. So, um, I got the Kilowatt Foil and Sangria Sunset and Mimosa Sunrise. This is not new. This has been out for some time. But I thought that this would be pretty um, by itself, layered over top of each other. Or I could also layer them over or under one of these matchsticks. That's one of the things that I love about Fenty Beauty is that all of her products are really good with layering. Like if you watch her um, makeup artist, Priscilla Ono, I believe her name is, she shows her, like she goes through videos and she shows her like layering different blushes and highlights. And it just looks so beautiful. Like you can wear these things alone or you can layer them and just the possibilities are endless. That's what I really love about Fenty Beauty. And the quality is just so great. So the next thing that I got is a kilowatt freestyle highlighter in Trophy Wife. Like, what kind of Fenty Beauty lover am I to not have Trophy Wife already? Like, this was one of the first products that she launched. And it was one of the things that everybody talked about, like, crazy. It basically broke the internet. Outside of the foundation, like, Trophy Wife was it. Everybody was loving Trophy Wife. And it's just so pretty. I don't even want to use it. Like, look at it. But I did swatch it, and I put a little bit on my nose and as a highlight. And it's just as gorgeous as I expected it to be. It's just, like, blindingly pretty. I just can't get over it. <clears throat> and... Um, I also got a Nest Rollerball fragrance. It's in my purse and I didn't feel like going to get it because I'm lazy and I'm tired and I've been creating content all night. But I got it in the fragrance um, Orchid. I want to say it's Black Orchid maybe. I don't remember exactly but I will link it down in the description box below in case you guys want to check it out. It is um, like a it's like a fruity floral. It's a fruity floral and it smells really good. And the last thing that I picked up um, is the Watermelon Glow Sleepy Mask. And I got this in the small size because the big size was like $45. And even though it's on sale, I'm like, I'm not spending that kind of money. And I don't even know if I'm going to like it. But this is um, like a K-Beauty product. Ooh, I almost dropped it. But I have used this twice now. I used it... Um, as an overnight sleeping mask, which is what is one of the main things that it's intended to be used for. It has AHAs, AHAs in it. And then another time I used it as like a quick mask. And it tells you to use more when you're using it just for like a 10 minute mask. And I did that and my face kind of burned a little bit. But my skin didn't actually burn. Like, I didn't have any damage that I could see to my skin. I just quickly washed it off because it was burning a little more than I like for my products to burn. But um, this did do a really good job. Like, I did feel like my skin looked really glowy and bright and radiant. So, I do enjoy this product. Um, maybe if... Actually, I have a $25 coupon. I was going to say maybe if Sephora has another sale, I'll get the full size. But I forgot I have a $25 coupon. So I'll possibly use it to pick that up. Oh, question for you guys. So being that I do have a $25 coupon, um, what are some things that you guys would recommend to pick up? Like, did you guys shop the Sephora sale at all? And if you did, what did you guys get? And what are you loving right now? Like, that's what I want to know. It doesn't have to be $25. It could be a little bit over $25 because if they're going to give me a free $25, I mean, I could put some more of my money with it and, you know, splurge a little bit. So I was actually thinking about getting the, um, I want to say it was the Huda Beauty Neon Obsession Palette. The pink one and the orange one look freaking gorgeous and they're only like $29 so I was really looking at that if any of you guys watching and have tried it let me know if you guys like it if you try any of the products that I picked up let me know if you guys like them or yeah that's it I don't have anything else for you guys so 
we are here at the end of this video so thank you guys so much for watching um keep watching if you have not already subscribed what are you even doing like you've watched this whole video and you haven't subscribed obviously you like me enough to keep watching so you might as well click the subscribe button and while you're at it click the like button leave me some comments below and i will see you guys later peace